Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome to an all new episode of Zip's Collection. Today I'm going to be playing a childhood favorite, a game that I hold very near and dear to my heart, and this is going to be The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. This is the very first Zelda game I ever played, and it's a very hard Zelda game as well, but uh, it's um, a great game. I don't need the story intro. For some reason, uh, there's no files here on my cartridge. They're gone. This one was here, but I don't know. I looked, and it was like right at the beginning of the game, so I probably just made that. Just to mess around or something. I don't even, I don't even know, but... Yeah, I asked my sister, because I was like, hey, I'm going to play A Link to the Past. Your file's still there, Our, my file's still there, assuming she was the last one to play. Um, she said it should be there, but no, none of our data was there. So I guess our, I guess we had a save malfunction? I don't know. Cartridge is old, so I, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm just going to kind of start the game off from the beginning. But uh, this is a very good game, and um, one that I haven't played through too much of, believe it or not. I've been... M I don't know. I love Zelda. I love all the Zelda games I've played, but I've always been more of a fan of the 3D Zeldas as opposed to the 2D ones. Uh, nothing wrong with the 2D Zeldas. It's just... I just prefer the 3D ones. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, especially Majora's Mask. And speaking of Majora's Mask, you... I was... I announced earlier on my community tab that I would, um, where am I going? Oh, it's up there. The castle's up there. So, yeah, just dump up there, but I announced on my community tab I'd be playing a, um, a, uh, Zelda game for today's Zips Collection video, and, um, my guess is that most of you are assuming we're gonna play a Majora's Mask. Why am I on the left-hand side? That's not where the entrance is to go on the right side, but you probably were expecting Majora's Mask, because last time we played Zelda, we were doing Ocarina of Time, but um, I'm actually about to be going through Majora's Mask again. I kind of want to replay that, if you will, and um, so I figured I might as well get some experience in, because I really don't remember a whole lot of the game, so. Um, oh, here's your father, the dude from the house. I uh, didn't want you in on this. Yeah, whatever. He gives you your sword. Uh, and your basic task here is to go and rescue Princess Zelda. And uh, this is the first little mini dungeon, which is pretty fun, actually. And uh, here you kind of learn your combat skills. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Get out of here. Get your magic here. And um, I'm going to need my magic because you need your uh, lantern for later in. But... Um, yeah, I was actually debating between doing this and Wind Waker for today's video. Because, um, I don't know. I love Wind Waker. It's a... I love that game as a kid. Um, but I don't know. I just felt like I might as well go back and do another 2D game. Even though we only did Ocarina of Time for the 3D ones. Um, I just felt like I might as well show this off. Because it was my first, uh, game in the franchise I played, so... It makes sense to show that off earlier rather than, uh, or sooner rather than later, I guess. So, um, I just went with this. And, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm showing it off. Um, again, I don't know what happened to my save data. I then, uh, looked on my... Wait, is this the... No, this is the... We don't want to go in here yet. Not yet. This is not where we want to go right now. Avoid those guys. Those guys take extra hits to kill, so... Do I have a map? Not a very descriptive one. Um, whatever. So I was, you know, I went on my Switch to see if my Switch Online file had anything. And, uh, no, it was also just empty. So that really sucks. And, um, at the same time, you know, why would I want to play Switch Online? It's my collection. I want to play the original thing. Play on the original cartridge. This is not the right way. That's outside. Um, thing is, uh, I don't really remember a whole lot about the game past, like, the first, you know, a little mini dungeon that we're playing right here. This is kind of, as far as I remember, this is about as much as I can, uh, do without a little refresher. 
Um, well, I mean, it's not hard to figure out. It's just combat-wise, it's pretty difficult. Um, at least for me, I'm not the best at the combat, but... Um, yeah. So I don't know what happened to my data, like I was saying. I'm just assuming it corrupted or something. To be fair, this cartridge... This isn't even the player's choice edition of the cartridge. Like, it's the original release. So, uh, this cartridge is probably, what, 25 years old? Maybe, maybe even closer to 30. Because I'm assuming this game sold a lot, probably pretty quick. So, if this isn't player's choice, this is probably like a 93 copy of the game. 1993 at earliest, I'd say. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm playing on the cartridge. It just feels natural playing it here. Like, it's great on the Switch and all, but playing with the original controller on a CRT, just, aw, oh, man. That is the way to play Link to the Past. Not to mention, look how great this looks. I mean, 1992, I think this came out. So, this is a beautiful game for 92. Uh, nothing up here. A couple of guards there. I like this little spin attack. And it didn't work. Link. Oh my god, Link. Fuck you. <laughs> Link forgetting how to use his stupid sword, apparently. Um, oh, I need a key to get up there. Is uh, Your only goal here is to just rescue the princess. Uh, is your first and main goal. Get your key there. And, oh, the boomerang. That is going to become pretty uh, useful. And, um, yeah. To start off, it's pretty simple. You just have to get into the castle. I remember as a kid having no idea what the hell this game was supposed to be. Um, because what, I would have been like three when I first played this. I probably couldn't even read that well. But, uh, then I eventually figured out oh, it's like an adventure type thing. And it's a really damn cool game, I have to say. Um, huge step up from Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, especially Zelda 2. Um,. That was the wrong button. No, no, no. Here. No, no, no. That's the candle. Uh, boomerang. Here we go. Use the boomerang against this guy. This guy deals a lot of damage, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. So, let me just kind of chill here with this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That. You don't want to get hit by that. Trust me. <laughs> that, um, I don't know if it'll one-shot you or what, but not something I want to mess around with, nonetheless. Um... How did I not get hit? Stop hitting the map. Oh my god. The most recent I played this game was um, on the GBA, so I'm kind of used to the simpler controls on the GBA because not as many buttons on there. And speaking of GBA, my sister says she also has a copy of the GBA version, which if you have two copies, this is Princess Zelda, but if you have two copies of the GBA version, you can actually play... Uh, Four Swords, which is a GBA exclusive. They made, like, a sequel to it on the GameCube, but I really want to play uh, Four Swords, so... Um, obviously, it's not in this version, but... On the GBA one, that would probably be really cool, but I have never played it. Just uh, never had the chance. And uh, I only played the GBA version recently. It's pretty decent port. Um... Although the Seven Wise Men, or whatever they mentioned earlier, are called the Seven Sages for some reason. I don't know if the story is any different in the GBA, but... I don't know. This is obviously the superior version to Owen. I mean, I don't know. That's the way it is for most uh, Super Nintendo games that were ported to the Game Boy. It's pretty cool you can get this on the Game Boy 2000 or whatever, whenever it came out. Um, but yeah... Um, it's cool to at least have another way of playing the game, but overall, this game is just a fantastic way to, uh, at least for me, to begin my Zelda adventure off. Um, I love this game. Hugely nostalgic, even though I don't even remember how far I got into it, and I remember it being a very hard game. But, um, yeah, risk-reward... And uh, tr it, challenging combat can also feel really rewarding whenever you uh, triumph, I guess. Actually, why am I going in circles? I already was here. Um, where do I go? Crap, I don't really remember. <laughs> um, I think you have to get to the king's room or wherever. Get outside. 
and then talk with the old man. And then they let you leave, but how the hell do I get there? I didn't really practice this, so... Uh, sorry. Um, I was looking for a Let's Play to promote for this game. There was nothing recent to plug in. Like, um, everything was just, um... Actually, no, is that the way you go? I think that is the way you're supposed to go. Don't want to mess with the guard. The guards do not like you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is the way you want to go. What the hell was I thinking? But, yeah, I was looking for a Let's Play of this. I found a Let's Play of the GBA version of the game. There was, like, nothing recent to speak of. Um, I found, like, the GBA version. It was, like, a German Let's Play or Spanish. I don't remember what language it was, but it was in English. And, uh, I was like, come on. Someone's gotta be playing. I mean, everyone loves A Link to the Past. Like, someone's gotta be playing it. And I did luckily find... Uh, I guess I'll plug it in right here. I found... Altazeta's. Altazita? Altazita's Let's Play of, uh, Link to the Past. It's recent. It's not concurrent. It has finished about two months ago, I think it finished. Um, but it is a full 100% playthrough, I'm pretty sure. And I know he at least beat the game, if not 100%. And, uh, yeah, I'll be plugging that in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Subscribe to Altazeta. Altazita, if you like his work. It's pretty entertaining. It was literally the only, like, even somewhat recent Let's Play I could find. Like, there was nothing else. I don't get why. Like, A, a Link to the Past is a huge game. Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah. When I say I don't remember much of this game, I, like, literally don't even remember where to go half the time. Um, but it is a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, I would highly recommend checking this out. It's on Switch Online, so, um, pretty easily playable there. But if you're looking for a Super Nintendo collection to, uh, build one anyway, this would definitely be a good game to keep in mind. Uh, picking up. Although it is a bit more expensive, I think. Um, I remember when I was looking for a copy of the GBA version, I was seeing, the, uh, the SNES version show up, and it was like, uh, what was it, like 40 bucks or something, so you can probably get a repro cart reasonably cheap, but in terms of, you know, authentic cartridge, it seems to be a pretty uh, expensive game these days, so I don't know. I luckily still have my copy from childhood, and it has a video store sticker, so I guess my sister must have bought it when it was already reasonably old, I don't know, but... Secret passage. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Go to the sanctuary. Up here should be the um, the room with the old man. I believe anyway. There's guards still in here. <laughs> Whatever. They don't see us. Here is where you go through. Ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? Yeah, you need your uh, candle now or your lantern. Yeah, you need your lantern, your lamp, whatever. And how do you? Oh, wait. No, do you pull on it? Other side? Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, I, let, I remember that much, at least. But yeah, it's a very fun game to go through. Um, God, I never realized just how beautiful this game is, even today. Um, here, I can use my lamp. Light up the room a bit. You have a bunch of rats um, swimming around. They are nasty little things. Uh, pick up your magic containers. Rupees. We don't really need rupees right now, but they will become helpful later on. Oh, those torches always stay lit for a set amount of time, too. Uh, I forgot about that. God, these guys are so damn annoying. <laughs> Die already, you're a freaking rat. Who thought a rat would be so damn hard to kill with a sword? Of all things. Um... Yeah, this game, fantastic Zelda game, and I definitely want to play more of it, because I never got even close to beating it. Um, but I do, at some point, want to do that. Wrong button, damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wrong button, I will do that till the end of time. Again, I'm just used to the... What? Ah, crap. I just died. <laughs> I just died, that's a game over. Oh my god. 
I'm used to the GBA controls, like I said. It's the most recent uh, version of the game I played. I'm so amazed at how good this looked on the GBA when I played it. Like, on the original screen. Uh, usually when you emulate the game, it'll look a little off. Uh, which I think is part of the reason why people might not like going back to the GBA. Apart from the sound chip. Which I know a lot of people hate on the GBA sound hardware. Uh, but yeah. Going back to the GBA. I love it. It's a fantastic handheld. And uh, it's got a fantastic Zelda game. It's also got its own exclusive Zelda game. Um, Minish Cap. I really want to play at some point. I don't know if that's a cheap game to buy or what. Maybe it's on Virtual Console, but I kind of want to get like a original cart of it. Um, I don't know. Lots of old games are just so high in price, man. The thing with the Super Nintendo cartridges, if you're looking to collect for this, you know, the Super Nintendo, you want to, you know, play on here, you might deal with like save malfunctions like I am. Because uh, I remember, for a fact, having data on this cartridge. Like, there was not just one file, like, right at the beginning of the game. I don't even think it was, like, past where we're at. It was probably, like, right here that that uh, file was at. And that sucks. Um, here we're in the... Oh. The sewers. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Everyone loves the sewers. Oh my god. Let's just get out of here. You don't really need to fight any of the rats. They're really just in the way and annoying. I also don't have my volume turned up very loud, so I can't really hear the low health sound. So, um, I know that low health sound is very annoying, though. I remember. Um, I'd argue it's even dumber than, uh, the... Ocarina of Time one, where it's just like, do, 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 do. Here it's just loud and obnoxious. And just, uh, no. Light it up, damn it. I think one of the rats this time around has the key. I think, and it, yeah, it has to be. One of you bastards had it. Yep. Yep, I was right. <laughs> oh, God, the rat ate the key or something? I don't know. Damn weirdos. Um, stop using the... Ah, uh, damn it. Keep hitting the wrong button. This game does feel fantastic to play the original way. I just, um... I don't know. I just don't know if I'll be able to, like... Like, when I do, if I want to play this game in my free time, I don't know if it would be a better idea to play here or on Switch Online, because here it's just natural. It feels classic, but... I don't know if... Uh, freaking my file will even survive half a month. Who even knows? Here you have to pull the lever. That was the wrong lever. Oh god, that was the wrong lever. <laughs> that was the wrong lever. Oh shit. Oh my god, that's stupid. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay. <laughs> so here we have the old man. There you are. Princess Zelda, you're safe. Is this your doing, Zip? You bet it, Papa. I don't even know if you're my dad, so I shouldn't call you that. Yeah, so it was Zip who helped. Blah, 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 blah. Land of Hyrule Falls of the Wizard's Clutches. If he releases the Seal of Seven Wise Men, the evil power will overwhelm this land. So, yeah. Make sure they don't get their hands on that power. And, um, yeah, you're pretty much free to go and begin your quest. You can't really do much of anything before you go to this, uh, mini dungeon. Uh, there you get your extra heart containers. Now we have four hearts. Yeah, that's literally... I'm... That's four hearts. That's probably where that other file was at. Right here. I know both my sister and I got way far into this game. Um, I'm pretty sure she got further than me, but... I know we weren't both at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I don't know what happened to the data, man. The same thing happened with my uh, Donkey Kong Country cartridge, the original Donkey Kong Country. Um, DKC2 as well. Um, you know, I had completed file on DKC1. Went back 10 years later or whatever. Nothing. All It was blank. The cartridge of the game worked fine, but the cartridge is blank. Uh, the data, anyway. Um, oh god, we got the choose up here. 
think that's what they're called. They're called like Choo Choo's in uh, Breath of the Wild or whatever. They're just called Choo's here. Use our boomerang. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. And uh, now the uh, soldiers from the castle actually release info. <laughs> and they basically lie to the public saying that you kidnapped the princess. And so you're basically a wanted man uh, all around. So, hang on. Fuck you. I'm trying to do my... Damn it. Do my twirling sword trick. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, the combat is really nice in this game, I'm just not good at it. This way, Kakariko Village, that's kind of where we want to go next. So that should be anywhere now. I'm the uh, low health thing is probably going off, so I'm sorry. Um, Kakariko Village, so that's right here. So you can go, in, go inside, and let's see. Why, oh, here we go. Wanted, and that's my face. This... This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Uh, most of the locals are pretty chill about seeing you, so they won't really um, say anything. Are there any hearts here? Come on. That chiming is probably really annoying. Who? Oh, it's you, Zip. What can I do for the young man? The... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Master Sword. Yeah, uh, you have to go to a certain someone. You can't get the sword until later in the game, though. Um, look for the elder, yeah. Can I just get some health, though? Like, come on. <laughs> I don't want... <laughs> come on. That that noise has got to be really annoying. Um. That's the one thing that always annoys me. When you're low on health, it's just insanely freaking... There we go. Insanely annoying, that sound effect. Get that rupee. Full health. Hello. Yo, Zip, this house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, their name was Blind and he hated bright light a lot. What? <laughs> sure. I don't think that's really relevant to the story, but whatever. Um, if you go somewhere in here, see the locals know you and they're all cool. Um, or I guess this one doesn't really know me. Uh, yet yeah, no, I'm not paying a hundred rupees. Uh-uh. Uh, right here, this lady, if you... I think it's this lady? Hey, here's Zip, the wanted man. Soldiers, anyone, come quickly. Snitch. Old hag. And here we go. Just use that on them. They're pretty easy. They only send a single soldier, and they're easy as hell to kill. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's not much of an issue. But, yeah, this game, man, brings back memories. So, um, what was the guy's name? Yeah, go check out uh, Altazita. Altazita's Let's Play of uh, Link to the Past. It's brand new from this year, and um, yeah, it's. Um, I'm probably going to go back and watch some of that at some point. And, um, oh, maybe not, because I do kind of want to do this on my own. I don't want to have a guide throughout the entire game, but yeah, this game is awesome. You can get it on Game Boy Advance. Again, I need to find my sister's old copy of this. Uh, I never knew she had the GBA version, nor did I ever know there was a GBA version until fairly recently. Uh, that is not where I want to go, that's not the exit, but yeah, I need to find another copy of uh, Link to the Past GBA so I can play Four Swords, because uh, Four Swords is not a game that there's a lot of uh, coverage on on uh, YouTube, the original Four Swords. There's Four Swords Adventures on uh, GameCube, which is actually really expensive. Hardly anyone even has it, because it's hard to get at this point, but... Yeah, um... I really want to play the original Four Swords. So I'll have to look for, uh... The other cartridge of Link to the Past. Oh, here we go. This kind of reminds me of, like, Lost Woods from, uh... Ocarina of Time. Just really, uh, eerie. You don't know what to expect. Don't know what's gonna... Oh, God! Oh. What is this? Ooh, a heart piece. Ooh, that's nice. And it didn't even replenish my health all the way. That's also nice. Um, is this... Who's this guy? Hey, kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that the one... Oh, okay. Apparently this is the hideout. Not much of a hideout. That looks like a Pokemon uh, cave. One of those, um... 
areas you go in uh, Pokemon. That's what that kind of looks like. Oh, uh, what's in here? Not much. What the hell was that? There's some groundhog or something in there. I don't even know what that was. Who's this? Oh god, it's this guy! Oh, I remember you, you freaking thief. Um, here's your fake Master Sword. <laughs> it's the Master Sword! No, it can't be too bad. You just throw it. It's a fake. You obviously can't get the Master Sword till way later in the game. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what a legendary game. Please play this if you haven't. I really need to come back and play this. Um, I think I'll probably just play it on the Switch. Again, I don't even know if my save file would survive an entire playthrough if I played it here. Oh, oh you want to fight? You want to fight, bro? Oh, fuck you. I can't even... Ah, damn it. Too much overwhelming. Jesus Christ. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, God, they just ambushed me out of nowhere. What an asshole. Yeah, we'll just save and quit. I'm going to go ahead and end the video off, ladies and gentlemen. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Zips Collection, starring The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo, my very first Zelda game of all um, at, that I ever played, and one that I hold very near and dear to me. And, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to show off Wind Waker at some point, uh, if Majora's Mask as well, but, um, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of Zelda games I really want to play, but you can only do one at a time, and I don't want to do multiple, like, in a row, so it'll be a while before I do Wind Waker or anything else, but uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Expect a new We Play episode going up tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, so exactly a day from now you can expect to be watching that. In fact, a little less because you're watching uh, the video uh, after the fact, but... Whatever. Um, look forward to that. Look forward to our next episode of Zips Collection coming next Saturday. Don't have the game picked out, but I think I'm going to be able to pick something good that you're going to like. And uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you look forward to the next one, and I'll see you around. Peace. I combined my old intro there for a second, but whatever. Uh, see you later.